Good evening, you're watching 7 at 7, the only news bulletin where we curate the day's top seven stories for our viewers. But first up, as usual, I'd like to take our viewers through, at least numerically, where India stands with its fight against COVID-19. And yes, the pandemic still has not abated. Let's take you through the numbers right now very quickly. We right now, viewers, stand at 77,6946 total cases we've seen till now. 1,16,616 deaths. Let's break it down. Numerically, state-wise, the state of Maharashtra continues to dominate with a total import of 16,17,658 cases. Maharashtra has seen one-third of the national death toll of 42,633. Second is the state of Andhra Pradesh, which now stands at a total positive caseload of 7,93,299, recording 6,508 deaths. Karnataka is at the third position with a total caseload of 7,82,773, recording 10,696 deaths, which is even more than the state of Andhra Pradesh. So this is what it looks like purely on the basis of numbers where India stands with its fight against COVID-19. These are the numbers, viewers. Let's... All right, the latest news break right now coming in. After what we had seen happen in the city of Hyderabad, Chennai right now, inundated rainwater has actually entered a hospital. This is the Institute of Child Health in Egmore in Chennai. Shocking visuals coming in of rainwater actually entering this hospital. This is the time of COVID, viewers. This is a hospital and it's a children's specialized hospital. It's a pediatric center. All right, a fresh war has broken out between the BJP and the TMC. Mind you, the Prime Minister also stepped in today, gave his Durga Puja address, uh, inaugurated Pandals. But having said that, in the midst of Bihar election, the poll bugle for the Bengal election has already been sounded. As Bengal marked Mahashashti Day in Pujo, Prime Minister Narendra Modi joined in with a festive message, heavy with political undertones. Clad in a traditional Bengali attire gifted by Union Minister Babul Supriyo, the Prime Minister invoked Goddess Durga to affirm commitment to women's empowerment. बाईस करोड़ महिलाओं के बैंक खाते खोलना हो, देश की नारी शक्ति को सशक्त करने के लिए निरंतर काम किया जा रहा है। रेप की सजा से जुड़े कानूनों को बहुत सख्त किया गया है। दुराचार करने वालों को मृत्यु दंड तक का प्रावधान हुआ है। ये बंगाल की जागरूक चेतना का Modi's Vikas pitch wasn't lost in a state bound for polls next year. Bengal mein karib karib 30 lakh gariboon ke liye ghar banaye ja chuke hain. Ujwala yojana ke tahet karib karib 90 lakh garib mahilaon ko mupt gas connection diye gaye hain. Pradhan Mantri Jandhan yojana ke jariye. बंगाल के लगभग चार करोड़ गरीबों के बैंक खाते खोले गए हैं। Then came a message cautioning Bengal in letting down its guard in pandemic। इस बार हम सभी कोरोना के संकट के बीच दुर्गा पूजा मना रहे हैं। माँ दुर्गा के भक्त, पंडालों के आयोजकों, सब ने इस बार अद्भुत संयम दिखाया है। मेरा आपसे ये आग्रह जरूर है कि माँ दुर्गा के पूजा के साथ ही आप दो गज की दूरी, मास्क पहनने और अन्य नियमों का पालन भी पूरी निष्ठा से करें। the state which pulled out all stops to be Modi's message in 78,000 polling booths across the state's 294 assembly constituencies attacked the TMC, accusing it of resorting to violence to force the Safran party out of Puja Pandals. 
know as Bengalis, we were all part of uh, Durga Pujas in some way or the other. But we never got to organize the puja because anywhere we were invited uh, as, you know, to open a Durga Puja. Trinamul through ruckus, they broke places, they made, cancelled those program. So I think uh, politicizing Durga Puja is one thing and getting the political leaders of the political parties to, to organize a, a festival is another thing. So it is petty-mindedness, narrow-mindedness. Durga Puja is a religious festival and you rightly call it socio-cultural. I don't know why you're afraid of using the word religious, but it is Durga, the Durga Puja. It has always had an implicit political connotation and I think we know what the context is in this in this uh, time of pandemic. TMC has called Modi's Pujo message as a mere publicity stunt aimed at elections. For politics, for publicity of BJP, they utilize expenses incurred no less than one lakh crore of rupees. And for Durga Puja, the people of Bengal, not only in Bengal, throughout the country, throughout the world, only lecture. Why don't you do something for Bengal during Puja days? So is this Modi's pure bugle from Puja Pandal? With Indrajit Kundu in Kolkata, Bureau Report, India Today. Very rarely do political election manifestos make this much noise that this one has. This one that we're talking about is the manifesto that was released by Nirmala Sita Raman for the BJP in Bihar. What's interesting is that the finance minister promised to provide free COVID vaccines in Bihar while releasing BJP's poll manifesto. Now that sparked a row. RJD slammed the BJP for alleging using COVID vaccines as a political tool. Even Sena MP Priyanka Chaturvedi and former Jammu Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah accused BJP of exploiting COVID fears. BJP in its defense has said that the health is a state subject and Bihar BJP has decided to give it free. हम इधर प्रॉमिस कर रहे हैं बिहार में हर एक के लिए मुफ्त में वैक्सीन मिल जाएगा वो हमारे पहला संकल्प पत्र के प्रॉमिस है भरोसा के साथ बिहार की जनता को हम आश्वासन दिलाना चाहते हैं कि वैक्सीन फ्री में आप सबको मिलेगा मोदी जी ने तो राष्ट्र संबोधन में कह दिया कि अभी शायद एक साल तक तो वैक्सीन आने की उम्मीद ही नहीं भाजपा बार बार झूठ बोलिए जैसा नीतीश बाबू ने उन्हें बड़का झूठा पार्टी कहा था पर कोरोना महामारी में देशवासियों और बिहार वासियों का मजाक मत उड़ाई All right, but let's just take you back on what's going on in terms of what is the rollout plan once there is a vaccine. Right now, viewers, there is no vaccine to give anyone. But once there is a vaccine, what is the Indian government's rollout plan? Well, they had made it very clear, and let's take you through those steps. The first batch, three crore people in high-risk jobs will be vaccinated first. Health workers, army personnel to be vaccinated in first batch. Second batch, people over 50 to be vaccinated. Patients with comorbidities will also be part of the second batch. Electronic vaccine intelligence network, digital health ID to ensure immunization. Vaccine distribution under universal program. Well, this is the center's rollout plan. If after all of this, which is going to be a state that would get it first, nobody quite knows. But coming back to the point, there is no vaccine as of now. All of this is based on the fact that there is a vaccine to roll out. All right, let's move on right now. Let's quickly move on and get you the very latest. Uh, it's India's missile ka mosab. That is what most uh, defense correspondents in India today are calling it. There was another missile that was tested. The third generation missile Nag was uh, tested today. Take a look. An incredible piece of footage from the hallowed turf of Pokhran. What you're looking at is the Nag, India's very own anti-tank guided missile, blasting out from its carrier, soaring high into the sky and screaming down to destroy a target tank. The 
Denmark has taken a long time to prove itself. But with this test, the missile has completed its final trial with the Indian Army and is now declared fit for induction and operational service. The final trial by fire you see here was no ordinary one. While it was fired at a small range, the missile can destroy targets out to 7 kilometers. The missile was integrated with the actual warhead and a tank target was kept at a designated range. Fired at sunrise, the missile accurately locked and destroyed the target tank. The Nag missile has fire and forget and top attack capabilities, defeating all modern battle tanks equipped with composite and reactive armor. With this final user trial, Nag will enter into production phase. The missile will be produced by Defense PSU Bharat Dynamics Limited or the BDL, whereas Ordnance Factory Medak will produce the Nag missile carrier you see firing the weapon. The NAG's carrier, the BMP-2, is already deployed in large numbers in Ladakh and at high altitudes, which means the NAG will, in the coming months, see possible deployment in areas where India and China have deployed large numbers of armoured vehicles during the current standoff. NAG carriers deployed in strength could be formidable tank killers in such a scenario. The final trials will hopefully bring to a close the long, difficult development and testing journey of one of India's most awaited missiles. Bureau report, India Today. All right, just about uh, 24 hours ago, the top trend on Twitter was boycott Eros. Now, the production house uh, got into a fair bit of trouble when on its Twitter handle it started posting images uh, which were derogatory especially during the times of Navratra, with captions which just didn't quite go together. A lot of people did find it very disgusting, some distasteful. This is how it all panned out. Boycott Eros now turned top Twitter trend on Thursday after netizens called out the film production company for sharing vulgar images with unrelated captions during the ongoing festival of Navratri on their social media pages. A section of the internet is upset with Eros now for allegedly violating the religious festival by mocking and insulting it. Ever since Navratri 2020 commenced on Saturday, Eros now began a campaign posting short videos and pictures from films produced by their company in keeping with the festival color scheme. Some pictures star Deepika Padukone from 2015's Baji Rao Mastani. Karina Kapoor Khan also appears in her red Chamak Chalo Avtar from the 2011 film Ravan. Sonakshi Sinha, Kangana Ranaut and Eshwarya Rai Bachchan's film stills were also posted. With some of their posts, Eros now intended to suggest colours and fashion advice to their followers on social media for the nine-day festival. For instance, red is confidence, red is passion, red is love. Red is the colour Navratri D4. Take a look at how gorgeous Eros Now leading ladies look in it. Eros Now set in the caption of their post. However, a film still starring Katrina Kaif in a yellow sari with a titillating caption that read, Do you want to put the Ratri in my Navratri? has specifically offended the netizens. Though the intention behind Eros Now's post under discussion is a little unclear. Apart from that, this picture of Ranveer Singh from Golio Ki Ras Leela Ram Leela with the caption, Be naughty, sweet to bit hai bhi hai. Followed by hashtag Navratri also irked the social media users. Critics of the ads said the tweets were obnoxious and mock Hinduism and its glorious festivals. They also drew comparisons between the Ross Now ads for Navratri and those for Eid. Those who criticized the ads on Twitter included BJP member Khem Chand Sharma, who was part of the party's National Social Media Campaign Committee in 2019. Actor Kangna Ranaut also condemned the campaign on her social media pages through a series of posts and wrote, We must preserve cinema as a community viewing theatre experience. It's more difficult to enthrall large section of audience than sexualized content for personal viewing. Digitization of art faces this major crisis. All streaming platforms are nothing but a porn hub. Haryana BJP social media head Arun Yadav weighed in too. 
However, soon after, streaming platform Eros now has issued an apology after its Navratri ad campaign ran into rough weather with a section of the social media. Entertainment Bureau, India Today. Welcome back to our fact check segment, uh, our final segment for 7 at 7. Well, there is an image floating about which says that Telugu is going to be recognized as an official language in the United States of America. It's wrong. It's a manipulated image. It's not the actual fact. There's no such thing or no such intention of recognizing Telugu as an official language. With that, quick fact check. It's a wrap in 7 at 7. But do stay tuned. Up next is To The Point. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.